Hello again. Once known as a cricketing hero and for his uh, playboy lifestyle, Imran Khan is now a strong political force in his home country of Pakistan. He's the Prime Minister's main opponent and also an outspoken critic of US interference in his country's affairs. Imran opposes almost all military operations within his country and neighbouring states, including the US invasion of, of Afghanistan. And he's now leading a campaign against American drone strikes on the Taliban in Pakistan. Killing people by these uh, drones, basically sitting on a screen and eliminating people, uh, dehumanizing them, treating them uh, uh, as if you know they are from some other planet. It violates all norms of justice. It violates all norms of us being human. It's anti-human, you know. They are bombing villages, and then they think that the, a bomb when it's when it bursts, when it splinters, that the shrapnel knows exactly who's a terrorist and who's a woman and who's a child, who's a grandmother. I mean, there are so many instances of people being killed who had nothing to do with uh, terrorism. Well, that was an extract from an exclusive interview Imran gave to our documentary team on U.S. drone strikes in Pakistan. And earlier, I discussed that with Marina Kosirova, who spoke to him. Well, it was very important to us uh, to secure an interview with Imran Khan because obviously we're making a film about the drone strikes in Pakistan and how people are being affected who live there. So it was very interesting to hear his point of view. Sure, and just how badly have people been affected then? You have over uh, 400 strikes since 2004. We have over 4,000 people killed. Out of those, around 1,000 are innocent civilians, people who uh, human rights organizations claim they had no links to terrorism. People living in fear. They don't know whether they should go out or not because we're seeing funerals being targeted, wedding celebrations, religious events, and people are now having to stay at home locked up because they don't know where the next strike will come. <laughs> The Americans should be able to tell an ordinary person from a Taliban leader. They should know who they're killing. What did we do to deserve this? Whenever my three-year-old daughter hears a plane, she runs inside and won't sleep that night. The children here have been traumatized by the drones. The sound of a door banging shut is enough to terrify them. But we've also heard, haven't we, from U.S. officials, and they claim they do have intelligence that shows that those who've been targeted are actually terrorists. That's true, but we've also spoken to human rights organizations who point to the numbers. Imagine, Andrew, in your home, in your neighborhood, you come home one day and you see that the place was bombed. The people, the neighbors that you've lived with for so many years, they have been killed. You know them, you know that they have no links to terrorism, yet they're being slaughtered in essence. Wouldn't you be angry? Wouldn't you want revenge? And this is what we're seeing with many people. There was a boy studying in this university in Namal from Waziristan. Uh, he was in his final year of uh, electrical engineering and suddenly he finds that in his family compound in Waziristan there was a bomb and his family was killed. And then we find he disappears, he goes back, obviously his family was killed. And then six months later we find that he had blown himself up in Ghazni in Afghanistan on a NATO convoy. And how does the Pakistani government then react to all of this? Well, this is a very interesting question and this is the number one question I wanted to ask Imran Khan because he's been fighting against these drones for about 20 years now with his uh, political party. And you think, okay, we understand maybe the Americans uh, perhaps not caring or not seeing how their actions are affecting other countries, the locals living there, but the government in Pakistan, surely they should care about their own people. And time and time again, the answer I got, including from Imran Khan, is that it all comes down to money. Now, what do we mean by that? We know that uh, the United States is still Pakistan's largest bilateral export market. They receive over $5 billion in civilian assistance since 2009. So they're getting a lot of money. We have uh, people ruling Pakistan who are shameless. If you pay them enough dollars, they are willing to... Uh allow Americans to bomb their own country, our government would conspire to hide the fact how many civilians were killed because they didn't want a public reaction against it. And yet there was a reaction. There was a extreme anti-Americanism because of uh, drone attacks. And you can watch uh, our documentary on US drone attacks in Pakistan uh, next month.